Hey everybody, I've got a real quick one for you today. So what I have here is a um, logic board out of a Microsoft Surface Book 2. Uh, it came in for just a battery, and uh, when I opened it up I found that the battery was liquid damage, so taking a look at the whole board, and before I even took the board out I noticed that the board was really loose in the case. It was bopping up and down in the case and the screws were just going straight through the board. So I'm like, how in the world are the screws just going straight through the board? Well, if we take a look at um, one of the screw holes here, this is a bad screw hole. Let me actually start with a good screw hole. This screw hole here, this is how the screw um, goes into the, the, holds down the board. This is the back side of it. So the, the um, side that you see when it's uh, screwed in is the other side of the board here. So the, the screw is through the other side and then screwed in over here. So this is a little soldered in um, metal ring, a little metal washer that it that the um, screw holds onto rather than holding onto the whole board, which isn't such a bad idea because you don't want the screw gri gripping onto the board, or crushing the board, scratching the board. It, it's, I think it's a good idea to have this little metal ring here, except the soldering was not good on it. Look at the soldering on this thing. Look at all the air holes, all the voids that were in the solder when this thing was put together. So having all these voids in there, having this bad solder on it, just let the thing pop right off the board. And this is the sixth one that I'm doing. This is the last one I have to do on this board. So six of them came off in different areas and that, that's what belongs in that hole. Oop, uh-oh. It went click. Oh, there it is. So that's what belongs there in that hole, and it's supposed to be soldered in. But they didn't do such a good a good job soldering it. And just about every single one of them is sitting next to some sensitive uh, component that I can't try to just hot air this in. So we have to put this back in here with uh, just a soldering iron. So not ideal, not great. Um, this also goes for so this is the Microsoft Surface uh, that this, th this kind of thing also happens to the 1398 board um, from uh, 2012 through uh, 2015. They have all these standoffs here. There's other ones too that have these standoffs for the uh, heat sink and the fans, but I see it mostly in the 1398 where these, um, the heat sink uh, standoffs here, they're soldered onto the board and then you screw the heat sink down into them these things will pop off the board, especially the model 1398 that doesn't have the um, uh, dedicated GPU. It only has the CPU. It has a fatter, heavier heat sink on just the CPU, and it seems to pull these off all the time. So the little tutorial here of putting this back on here is gonna be the exact same thing you do to put this back on the board. So here we have our uh, hole that needs a washer put into it. I'm gonna start um, by just giving it a quick Q-tip because usually these things are covered in uh, scratched up powdered solder too. And we don't wanna mix all that garbage in there. So we're just gonna quick, quick Q-tip of it and we'll give it a little bit of flux. And we'll take our soldering iron. So my soldering iron is set at 830 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, 830 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this is the um, D12 tip, I think it is, is what it's called. And I'm just going to take some new uh, 6040 Kester solder and just blend it into this. Just go right around it. And now I want to heat up this whole ring. You see how it, it flashes back cold around and everything. Just want to heat up the whole ring all the way around. Keep your soldering iron on it. Keep it heat, and heat it. And while while I'm holding that there, I'm grabbing the ring with my other hand. I'm gonna drop the ring in there. And now I want to put a little bit more flux, and I need some fresh solder on top of this ring to create good heat transfer. So. Some fresh solder there, some fresh solder there. That's gonna create some good heat transfer and I wanna put my whole tip down on that ring. 
just going to keep it the whole tip just cre turn that ring into part of my tip scrub it around a little bit rock it back and forth and once it seems fully melted yep it's moving around in there that means the sides are melted and everything and that's perfect that should be a stronger bond and better than anything that came out of the Microsoft manufacturing for this. If you're doing this to the Apple, Apple, same thing. And there you have it. So, better than factory. This one looks like it might be separating a little bit right there. Let me see if I can get that on camera. So this one has not separated, but it looks like it might be. Yeah, look at that. There is a crack in there. There's a crack in that solder. So I should go over this one too. Let's do a little bit of flux. Now this one we just want to heat back down. So we'll get some fresh solder there, some fresh solder here for good heat transfer. And just lay the whole tip down on that. This isn't a corner where we can hot air this. Oh, there you go, it moved, the whole thing moved. So that means the whole thing is definitely melted. Yeah, look at that. All right. So that is going to be better than factory. There's not gonna be any air voids in that now. So we pushed down on it while we were heating it. It didn't just go through a solder flow oven with some solder paste under it. Let's see, where are the other ones? That one was the first one I did. This, these are kind of important too. That one was missing and this is the battery connector. So this has to keep pressure on the battery. That one's cracking too. Mm, this one was hard. This one did not want to take heat, or the, the one I did. I might have to preheat the board with hot air here like I did on the other one. starting to melt. Kind of melting. Yeah, this might work. Yeah, that moved. Yep. That's fully melted. I want to add some more solder to this. That solder looked like it has shrunk away to nothing. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. So yeah, those are important because they need to hold down now that I've come back to this, I don't like the way this looks. Let's let's flatten this one out again. I think I just have a little bit too much solder on it. Let's uh, let's wick off a little bit of that solder. It's a little too much. Yeah, 
That's better. Okay. That's why I didn't like the look of it. There was too much solder on one half. There's the other one I did. That one looks okay. That one's not cracking. This is some of the li oh the liquid damage one is almost coming off completely. Look at that. This one's uh, ready to pop right off. That one's okay. Okay, let's do this one. Get the board at a good angle to get the soldering iron in here. Okay, some flux. Ooh, that is that just moved. When I touch that with the flux tip, it moved. Yep. That is completely loose. Oh, that's bad focus. Sorry. This is another one I probably want to put more solder into as well. Thing. This does not seem to be thermally coupled to the board at all. It's not heating the board. Oh, there we go. I bet there was a bunch of powdered solder in between it. When solder powders, it's, it's weird. It acts like an insulator rather than um, a conductor of heat. It's very interesting. more solder on the one side there. Right there. Put that in. Yeah, there we go. And we have to wick this. I have way too much solder on the hole. That one was good. That one doesn't take much stress at all, so that one's fine. All right, that's all of them. So the uh, Microsoft Surface Board. Bit of a bit of a factory flaw, kind of, that all of these holes uh, just desolder themselves. So yeah, if you take apart a uh, Surface Book, this is the Surface Book Two. Uh, I believe it's close to the Surface Book One. I haven't opened any other Surface Books. I've opened up a couple other uh, Surface Pros, but this is this is my uh, first Surface Book. So be on the lookout for that. I will definitely be on the lookout for that for now on whenever I uh, open up one of these Surface Books. And luckily all of these little, um, they're, they're actually ferrous uh, metal, the little rings. So they stuck to magnets in there and everything and they, they hung around. Uh, none of them got lost, which was cool. I think they do, they do stay on the screw. So you might, you might lose them. Yeah, they stay on the screw. So the board is in like this. So when they come off, the board can uh, bop around, but the uh, little ring is still screwed into the, the machine. So if you see, when, when you open one of these, if you see that like you can press on the board, don't even bother taking that screw out. Just lift the board off with that there, so then you don't have any chance of losing that little metal ring. 
So then you can take the metal ring out separately and, uh, and fix that later. Yeah, Surface Book 2. Battery change turns into more, as usual. Thanks for watching.